From an accessibility perspective, and from an assessment design perspective, color blindness is something that we take very seriously, and it's something you need to be very cognizant of when using assessments. Because if someone is indeed colorblind, and they are unable to answer a specific question or set of questions, then practically speaking, it means they are getting questions incorrect for, say, non-cognitive reasons, reasons beyond just the skill itself being measured. That's a huge problem in and of itself, let alone the ethical, moral considerations of someone who has effectively a disability being disadvantaged completely unnecessarily. So there's a number of things that you would keep in mind from a best practice perspective, particularly from a questionnaire and test design perspective. First and most important thing, it isn't that you can't use colour. Okay, that isn't what we're suggesting. That's not a problem. You can use colour. The problem occurs when you rely on differences in colours or textures, things that are potentially hard to see for some people. And those help differentiate. Those, those are necessary to answer a question. For example, with numerical reasoning items, some graphs might have different textures, different colours on like some of the, the bars, such that you would not understand the legend and understand what is being measured if you can't see the different colours. That's an example where test design is actively, effectively discriminatory. Similarly, inductive reasoning, abstract logical reasoning questions, which are non-verbal, which are all image-based, relying on colour changes, for example. Often with inductive reasoning questions, there's a sort of sequence, patterns, things changing, rotating, and potentially changing colour. That would be inaccessible to someone who is colorblind potentially, which means they are at an unfair disadvantage, which means the assessment is not measuring the intended construct. As a result, you try to make sure that things are standardized. For example, at test partnership with our inductive reasoning tests, it's all black and white, and we don't rely on textures, we don't rely on colors to you know, fix logical rules for the questions, because that wouldn't be fair, that's not good practice. It makes the assessments less accessible, and of course reduces the actual effectiveness of the assessments because non-cognitive factors are determining performance. And so the key rule isn't that you can't use colour, it isn't that you can ignore the aesthetics of platform or assessment, it is just that you cannot use those variables, colours, textures and so on, as manipulations for the question, such that you would need to see those differences in order to answer the question. And so you just have to ensure that whenever you look at the questions, those aren't the determining factors that even if you couldn't see colour, even if everything was black and white, you would still be able to answer correctly.